Hello guys and welcome back. So in this section, we'll talk about the can deactivate guard. Now, can deactivate guard checks if the user can exit a particular route. Okay, and then um, based on what the code for checking whether the user can exit from a particular guard guard uh, returns. Based on that, we will simply just let or Angular will simply just let the user uh, stay on the same route or uh, navigate him or her to a particular route okay now to implement the can deactivate guard uh, we need to uh, have a class that uh, is decorated with the injectable decorator again so it needs to be a service and then this class needs to implement the can deactivate interface okay that is something that can be uh, imported from angular router okay now if the use if the class implements the can deactivate interface then it needs to define a method named can deactivate and this uh, this um, method accepts three arguments the component the route which is uh, the the component would be the the component we want to navigate away from then we have the route which is an instance of the activated route snapshot and the third one is the state which is uh, which is uh, an instance of the router state snapshot okay um, now uh, finally we will once we are done with uh, defining the interface and defining the uh, defining the guard then we will simply use the can deactivate uh, property inside the router inside a route object and then we can specify the name of this guard that we created okay uh, now mostly in in the cases where we are going to use it is say if I'm uh, I'm uh, on a form okay let's say in the messages section we have a long form that contains a list of messages okay and uh, if I somehow um, say accidentally clicked on the user section okay then it should ask me uh, with a confirmation whether I want to navigate away from this particular section or not and once I click on OK then only I should be uh, navigated to this section uh, and if I click on cancel I should stay on this particular section okay so that is something that we are going to implement as a part of this section uh, so let's quickly get started okay so now in this section well let's just first implement a guard okay so I'll generate a guard using angular CLI to do that what I'll do is I'll type in ng space g for generate and g for guard and now I uh, like to create all my guards in, in a folder named guards so this is for that uh, I'll name this guard confirmation guard so I'll do something like confirmation and then confirmation again now what this will do is it will create a confirmation folder inside the guards folder and inside this confirmation folder it will create two files for me the confirmation guard and the confirmation guards test case file okay I need uh, this confirmation guard temp uh, the confirmation guards uh, TypeScript file and now instead of the can activate interface that this particular guard class implements I need it to implement the can deactivate interface so like so okay and now if it implements the can deactivate interface this is a generic type okay so it accepts the type of uh, uh, component that that would uh, you know use this particular guard okay so let's just specify something like can activate or can component deactivate okay now this is something uh, that would again be the type of the component that is going to use this guard okay and why is that really important well that's really important because in this method we should be uh, you know we should be having a look into the component to judge whether uh, the user is busy uh, filling a form or something of that sort okay so if say uh, there is a form in this component then we can just 
have access to the form okay and then based on whether that form is invalid or not we can judge whether the user is uh, busy filling out the form and then in that case we will simply not uh, allow the user to say navigate away from this particular route okay now this is the component okay and it is of type can deactivate uh, so let's first create now uh, let's say we want this particular component to have a particular method in it based on the call to that method we will decide whether we want to leave uh, from this route or not okay uh, to do that uh, or to force this component to have that method implemented on it we can simply uh, create an interface okay and specify the method and the return type in that interface and then we can simply uh, in implement this interface for that particular component class okay in that way uh, the component would be obligated to uh, define such a method that would return a boolean okay so let's do that quickly so i'll just create an interface that is uh, named can component deactivate and this interface will declare a method named confirm okay this is a method that returns a boolean like so okay and now again this is uh, sorry instead of the can activate method i need to implement can deactivate method which would again return an observable or promise or a boolean the first argument to which is a component okay on which we need to uh, we need to you know implement this confirmation guard the next would be the activate an instance of the activated route snapshot and the state would be an instance of the router state snapshot okay uh, now what we can simply do is we can simply call or return whatever is returned by component dot confirm like so okay now we can be sure now that confirm that confirm is a method on this component because the component will implement this interface so it will have to define a method named confirm on it okay now we want to um, we want to use this particular guard on the message list component okay so what i'm going to do is uh, implement the can component active deactivate uh, interface on it and that is something that i'll have to import from um, our class right there or sorry our confirmation guard file right there so i'll move up move up again go to guards and in the guards in the confirmation i'll select this particular file okay now uh, i'm getting a red squiggly line here which means that i haven't exported the interface from here so i'll quickly do that like so save this and now i'm able to implement the interface now to implement this interface i'll need to define a method named confirm okay and in this i'll simply ask the user whether they want to navigate away from the you know away from this particular component or not so are you sure you want to navigate away okay now since this is confirmed uh, if the user clicks on ok it will return true and if the user clicks on cancel the user uh, it will return false okay and that is essentially what this call right here would return okay and then based on that uh, the can deactivate uh, method that is called by angular uh, angular will be able to decide whether uh, it should navigate away from that particular route or not okay now the final step in this process is to uh, first add this particular guard here okay so to the providers array so that uh, this particular module knows that there is a 
guard that can be used so information guard is something that i'll add to the providers array and i'll have to import it from this particular or its respective path i'll just paste it here okay and now in the messages uh, route object that we have right here i'll simply add a can deactivate property and in the array uh, i'll specify the can or sorry confirmation guard like so so if i save this now and go back okay um if i navigate away i'll see a confirmation box if i click on okay i'll be able to navigate away from this to whichever uh whichever route i wanted to go but if i click on say cancel and i wanted to go to blog it won't allow me let's see that again in action if i click on blog if i click on okay it will able it, it will allow me to uh, navigate to the blog uh, route okay something i guess something happened okay sorry i'm already on the messages if i click on blog and if i click on okay sorry so blog is already something that uh, is you know uh blocked or guarded by the can activate guard so i won't be able to navigate to it anyway if i click on about uh, and click on okay it should uh, navigate me successfully to the about route but if i click on uh, about again and click on cancel i'll still stay on the messages route okay so this was it regarding uh, the can deactivate a guard and this is a guard that can generally be used in cases wherein if you have a very long form and you are filling that form and the user accidentally clicks on a particular link uh, which essentially uh, results in navigating the user away from particular route and in that case you want uh, the user to see uh, an alert box or something of that sort or essentially you want the user to not navigate away from that particular route okay so this was it regarding the can deactivate guard in the next video we will talk about the resolve guard uh, and we'll see what exactly is the use case wherein we can use resolves okay so i'll see you guys in the next video bye